Welcome back to another episode of the Ark Survival Guide. Today, we are going to tame a giant queen bee and get a beehive so that we can get a constant supply of honey in our base. And this is going to be extremely rewarding, but it's also really hard to do this. So I will teach you, first of all, where to find beehives and bees on Ragnarok, and secondly, how to actually tame them, because it's not as easy as it sounds. So first of all, uh, we're going to have to clear out a lot of really dangerous predators out here, including a mega pack of allosaurs. So I'll show you how to make quick work of those, too, and uh, keep them from being a real problem. So watch the rest of this episode, and uh, we're going to have some fun today. So we are back in Viking Bay. It's another beautiful morning in paradise. And uh, we're here on our floating fortress, getting ready to go out and tame some bees. Now the first thing we need is bug repellent and a full ghillie suit. I've got an episode a while back on how to actually make a ghillie suit, how to get it very easily on Ragnarok, but uh, it's actually very important to make this taming a lot less dangerous. So if you remember, we've been growing this little uh, organic farm on top of our roof. Uh, this is actually our floating fortress. This entire base is built on a raft, so we can sail the whole fortress up and down the bay. So uh, if you if you've missed anything or you're new to this channel, feel free to go back in the playlist for the entire Ragnarok survival guide. And uh, there's an episode to show you how to do every single thing that we've done here. You just have to go back a ways. So uh, first of all, I'm going to put all the ingredients we need for bug spray into our mortar and pestle. And we've already got the engram here. Part of the reason that we've been saving some of the pelt and hair that we've been getting this whole time is uh, because we needed it for bug spray. And uh, right here is a map of where we're going to be heading on the Ragnarok map. It's pretty close to 2035 coordinates, but uh, there are these really tall cliffs on the other side of Viking Bay. And uh, that's where we're going to be heading today. It's actually not terribly far away from where we first started out. So you can see we've got these sloping mountains on the other side of Viking Bay. And then past those, there's some cliffs, like some very high cliffs off in the distance. And this is kind of the area where you'll actually find beehives on Ragnarok. Now, on the island in the center, you actually find bees in the redwood forests. The beehives are made up on top of redwood trees for the most part. And, uh, oh, I forgot to mention the other thing we need is lots of rare flowers. We are going to be using rare flowers to feed the bees. It's a passive tame, kind of like dolphins, only they'll kick your butt if you uh, don't do it just right. So in order to tame bees, you need a full ghillie suit. You can't be missing a single piece of armor. And um, you also need to have the bug spray and a bunch of rare flowers. And those are the ways to keep the bees from just destroying you while you try to tame them. So there's a bunch of these cliffs out here, and all along these cliffs you'll find beehives. And I'm just kind of searching along the cliffs here, and we should spot some beehives around the edges of these cliffs. It's kind of hard to see here because of the way the sun is positioned, but the best places that I've found beehives are kind of up in this area. So just look at every cliff side, and this little spot right here in the corner, there's like these three pools of water down here, and this spot actually has a beehive right in the corner. So looking around, it looks like there's nothing super dangerous right on top of us. And I always like having those brontosaurs around because they, uh, you know, they'll start going crazy if there's a big predator. So it's always nice to have a little alert system. But uh, we've got a lot of allosaurs in this valley. This is a very dangerous area. We uh, actually got our therizinosaur to chase us through here past a bunch of rexes a while back. So, woo, that was a little bit close. I'm just going to try to keep these allosaurs from killing me and get them to just chase me right over this edge. I feel bad for anything in the valley below, but, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, not going to be our problem anymore. Man, they've made quick work of that uh, Bronto there. 
So we just dumped one down this cliff, and it looks like there's still three more, so that's a pretty good sized pack of allosaurs. These things are pretty crazy, they're pack hunters. You can see that one has like fire on its back, that means it's the alpha allosaur. They actually hunt just like raptors in packs. So uh, it is hard to get these guys' attention though. They seem pretty busy, um, so I think I can just leave them alone. I need to make sure that the area all around where we're going to try to tame this bee is clear of predators because once you break the beehive, the queen bee will actually come out of the hive. Dang, there's another pack. That is a lot of allosaurs in one place. All right, so uh, just had the video cut out on us, so I just jumped back into it. And uh, you can kind of see where we are. We're at the top of this long sloping plateau, and uh, it's on right on the other side of Viking Bay. And the castle is actually kind of close to us towards our left, but right along the edge of these cliffs, there's just lots of beehives here. Now, what we want to do in order to break this, you know, you can shoot it with things, but they have like 5,000 HP. So the most effective way that I've found to break a beehive is to take a pteranodon and do a barrel roll. And uh, that does a pretty good job smashing them down. So in order to do a barrel roll, like on the PS4 controller, it's actually like your third dinosaur attack. And uh, you click down, press down on the right stick in order to make him do the barrel roll. So you click down on the left stick to sprint and uh, go slowly. And then the right stick does that barrel roll. But it uses a lot of stamina. Like on this particular Pteranodon, which is pretty low level still, it doesn't have a bunch of stamina, which is one of the reasons I was so sad to lose my level 60 Pteranodon in the Redwoods. But... Uh, it is going to probably have about one barrel roll worth before it is completely out of stamina. Another thing is, as soon as you attack a beehive, bees just start pouring out of it. And I better not barrel roll. If I do, I'm going to pass out and then I'll have an unconscious pteranodon stuck underneath a bee's nest, which is about the worst thing you can possibly do. So we're going to run in super speed and go really fast while I am just demolishing this beehive because it takes a long time. I mean, give yourself like 20, 30 minutes of just solid smashing this beehive before it actually breaks. Um, they've got like 5,000 HP. Uh, you can shoot them, but you're not going to get a lot of damage on them. And uh, the Pteranodon is great because the barrel roll can actually hit it two or three times if you time it just right. So you can get a lot of damage in each barrel roll especially if you've got some good melee damage. But, uh, so I kept doing this for a very long time and I found out this particular beehive is not a good beehive to get because after a little while, I don't know if you'll be able to see it going super fast, but I got a message saying I killed a queen bee. Um, but the hive was still there, so I kept attacking it and kept smashing it. So it turns out what I finally figured out was that this is actually a glitch and there were, I don't know, maybe five or ten beehives technically stacked on top of each other. So when I did manage to actually break a beehive, there was one right underneath it, so it didn't show up that it was broken, and the bee came out, I killed the bee, and then there was another hive just waiting right there. So, all that time was wasted because of a glitch. So now you know, um, never use that particular beehive in order to get queen bees. The other thing about it is uh, if you want a limitless supply of honey, you can technically gather honey from those and they'll just, you know, there's just unlimited beehives. So you can see here, I am actually right in front of the castle and this is actually a much better spot because this little cliff face down here has a bunch of beehives. There's like three of them in these little outcroppings that I'm standing on. Uh, there's also a lot of velociraptors and a ton more allosaurs and terror birds, as you just saw me getting to chase me away. So uh, we're going to have to clear out all of these things before we tame a bee, because uh, once again, if we do actually manage to break this beehive, which takes forever. Hey, raptors, come here. Come here. I got I got someone I want you to meet. Got a, got a cool new friend. You're going to love him. He's, he's kind of like an Indominus Rex. I think you'll get along great. 
So are they following me? Oh yeah, they're they're coming. They're coming. Raptors are party animals, you know. You bring them to meet somebody new, and they're all for it. Wow, that's a lot of allosaurs. Hey guys, come out, come meet the allosaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you how do you how do you like them? No, okay. And they didn't get along so well. Oh well. So that's two raptors we don't have to worry about. And now there was just one more around here somewhere. If I can just find him. And uh, raptors are almost always in packs of three. Allosaurs actually do the same thing. There's usually three of them when uh, when they spawn. Now, you don't usually lose track of an allosaur. You usually can tell where they are. Raptors, you know, you'll miss, you'll miss that third one and it'll come kill you. So I'm going to kill this dragonfly just in case it causes any trouble because I really don't want anything dangerous around here that can attack me. And I need to practice my aim a little bit. They are kind of a hard target to hit, but, uh, you know, that was, that was still pretty shameful. Okay, so right along this edge, we've got a couple beehives, and I'm still looking for that raptor. Okay, glad we have a stegosaur. He won't attack us, but uh, he... Oh, there's the raptor. Okay, great. I was thinking the uh, stegosaur might take care of the raptor for us. Now, there's a very similar dino that looks like a stegosaur that I've had some trouble with, uh, so be wary of that. If you see one with a bunch of spikes on it, give it some distance. All right, let's see if we can uh, bring this raptor to meet some more new friends. Come here, raptor. This reminds me a lot of that Jurassic Park movie where there's raptors in the tall grass. I mean, you can barely see that guy out here. Oh, come on. They have such short attention spans. Hey, buddy. Hey, there you go. Come on. So we gotta get this guy off the cliff if possible. Um, he has such a short attention span. Okay, maybe that Gallimimus will keep him busy. We'll see. Uh-oh, that sounded like an Allosaur. Um, gonna make sure he does not attack me here. Just gonna give it some distance. Because we are pretty low on stamina. And if I don't land real quick and restore my stamina, I'm going to pass out and get eaten by something. Because I have a feeling that Allosaur is chasing me. Okay, boy, that was close. I could not even see my stamina gauge. All right. Um, looks like he's still out there and he's coming this way. Fun. Well, that's right where the raptor was, so I'm pretty sure he's toast. So that's good. At least the uh, Allosaur has dispatched him for us. I hate to have to clear these guys out all over again, but, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, it looks like a good spot to tame a bee up here. Hopefully it won't glitch on us. Oh yeah, I got two of these guys mad at us. Okay, great. And here are three more. Let's see if we can tick them off and get them all to chase us off a cliff. Come on, guys. Nobody lives forever. Alright, you gonna do this? Yeah, come at me. Oh, ouch. Okay, that really hurt. Any more? Okay, that's that's four down, and... Ow, gosh, okay. Five, good. That should be all the Allosaurs. Perfect, okay. So we should be safe now. Uh, I think we've cleared out all the Predators from the immediate area, and uh, we only lost a third of our health. That's not too bad. And now it's just us and the bees. So I'm not worried about that Parasair, because they're, uh, they're pretty docile most of the time. They won't usually charge you. So, I am going to go back into fast forward while we barrel roll for another 20 minutes to break this beehive. And I, uh, I hate to have to do it all over again, but, you know, having a beehive is just incredibly helpful throughout the rest of the game. Now, pro tip when you actually have finished taming your beehive, uh, you have to be wearing a full ghillie suit in order to keep them from attacking you, even when they're tamed. It's like a bee, like a beekeeper suit. But uh, if you take off even one piece of that ghillie suit, your own bees will come and attack you again, and that's no fun for anybody. So, I am finally figuring out a good spot to get away from the bees. Once again, you have enough away that you lose aggro from the bees, otherwise they'll just keep attacking you. And uh, if the bees actually hit you, they will knock you off your mount. And there we go! The uh, beehive finally broke. It took like 20 minutes. Uh, I've still got an angry bee or two coming at us. Now, I try to only attack bees with a barrel roll if I can avoid it because I don't want them to hit me at all because they could dismount me 
that was another beehive right there, they can dismount you from your mount and then you're just kind of stuck on the ground. And that's not really fun for anybody. So I think, yeah, you can hear that weird noise in the background. Oh, there's a couple bees coming back at me. So the queen bee came out of the nest. You can barely see her over there. She's really big. You gotta be careful not to get too far away. There, barrel roll took care of those guys. Gotta be careful not to get too far away because she could despawn if she gets far enough. But there she is. She is a beauty. All right. So she is gonna keep dropping drones all around her in order to protect her. So if I get even close to that queen bee, the drones will attack me. But I've got bug repellent on now. And in the bottom right of my, my uh, hot bar, I have a bunch of rare flowers. Now, the rare flowers are what they eat, and it's just like with the dolphin tame. We've got to have it in the last slot of our inventory. Stay away from these bees. Whoa, okay, great. I did it just in time. You have to hit triangle right when she gets close to you. And there we go, we got our bee, that's awesome. So I'm not gonna spend much time here. Very quickly, I'm going to try to get her into a beehive. So we use the triangle menu, and the very top option is obtain beehive. And when we did that, the bees all disappeared, and we got a beehive in our inventory, and I am going to take off as fast as I possibly can so nothing kills me before I get home. So there we go. So uh, every other time I have tamed bees, it's... Oh man, there's a lot of allosaurs down there. <laughs> Sorry, I, I feel bad. I've just brought doom upon the whole valley. Just so I could tame a bee. Oh well. But uh, yeah, so it's really hard to tame bees most of the time. Um, I've never had it really easy, but usually you're doing it in the redwoods on the other maps. So in the island and the center, beehives are really high up in the top of redwood trees, which is a really dangerous area. And it usually takes a lot more red, rare flowers, like maybe, I think last time it took me like 10, 15 rare flowers. And the whole time the bee is just cruising around wherever she feels like. And if you actually touch the bee, as far as I know, even with bug repellent and a ghillie suit, the bees will still maybe attack you. So I've died more times trying to tame one bee than probably the rest of my entire game combined from anything else I was fighting. They are crazy. And uh, ironically, as I was doing this, um, I actually just finished killing off a yellow jacket nest in my yard in real life that had, uh, I don't know, a few hundred yellow jackets in it. And uh, in the process, I got stung by one and my hand swelled up like a balloon. So, you know, bees are just bad news all around in Ark and in real life. But now that we have one, our life is going to be much better. And in the next episode, I will show you how to actually build a beehive in our base. Now, it can be really hard to do that, so be sure to watch the next episode and I'll show you how. So thanks for watching and uh, tune in next time. Thanks so much for watching our video from the Ark Survival Guide. This is an amazing game, and it's sometimes really hard to learn how to survive, but uh, we are dedicated to teaching you how to not just survive, but how to thrive and have lots of fun on this amazing game. So we have a series for uh, just a let's play so you can watch how we've conquered this uh, vast open world. And we also have a guide series with specific guides on how to do certain things that are a little bit more confusing or difficult on this game. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We are constantly creating new videos for you to enjoy. So uh, you can travel through your journey on art with us and learn how to do everything you need to know to survive in this game. So thanks for watching and we will continue to bring you great content that is suitable for the entire family, except maybe the occasional dinosaur poop. What can you do? This is Ark. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon on the next video.